today we're going to go through a 20 minute full body cardio workout. So get ready to get nice and sweaty out throughout this workout, it's going to be awesome. You do not need any equipment for this workout, you just need a bit of room to move around in. There is going to be options of jumping, so if you do want to do that, I would recommend either doing it on your yoga mat or putting your shoes on just to give those feet a little bit more support. If you don't want to jump today, that's okay, I'm going to give modifications for advanced, non-jumping and beginner so we can all get our cardio in for the day. So we are going to go through five sets of three different exercises and we're going to do that set twice. So we're going to do three different exercises, take a rest, go back and do those exercises one more time, take a rest and then we're going to move on to three new exercises and we're going to do that five times for a total of 20 minutes. It's going to be easy to follow along, so don't worry about those details. I'll tell you what's coming up next as we go, so just have that screen somewhere where it's easy to see, and let's get started right now. Okay, up first, we are going to do some star jumps. So, this is one version. We can just do star jumps like this. If we don't want to jump, that's okay. We are just going to do walking step out, reach over. So, get the leg out nice and strong, arms overhead, get that body moving, get that blood pumping, and let's get that heart rate up. Here we go. Let's get that body nice and warm. We're here for another 10 seconds, and then we're moving on to our next exercise. That is gonna be a split squat with a touch down. So, if you're jumping, this is what we're doing. No rest, keep moving. Okay, modification is just a squat down with a touch. Make sure we are getting that booty back. Nice and far, and we're getting down a lot. Okay, stay with me. You're doing awesome. Let's get that heart rate up. Okay, next, we're staying in that squat and we're doing a squat, punch, squat, punch. Make sure you are getting nice and low in that squat and that punch is strong. You are punching something. You are putting intention into that punch. Here we go. That heart rate should be up now. Let's keep it up there. Okay, give your body a shake. You get some rest. Here we go. So, take deep breaths in and out, and let's recover. We're doing those three exercises one more time. You guys are doing amazing. I'm so proud of you. Stay with me. You can do this. You are going to feel amazing at the end of this. Okay, we're starting with those star jumps. Remember, hit this or reach over. Whatever one you want to do, it's fine. Just keep that heart rate up. Just keep that body moving. Here we go. Stay with me. Keep that heart rate up there. No floppy arms. Keep those arms nice and strong. Next up, we're going into those split squats with the touch down. Okay, so let's get ready. We're doing this. Or just stationary squat with a touch down. Make sure that booty is getting back nice and far and low. Here we go. Keep that heart right up there. Make sure you're smiling. Next, we are doing that squat punch. Okay, so get down nice and low. Twist and punch. I didn't think I'd make it without you by my side. Make sure you are breathing throughout all the exercises. Your body needs that oxygen. Make sure you're punching with intention. Punch it. Make sure those arms are nice and strong. Woo! Stick that booty back. Stay with me. You're doing awesome. Okay, give that body a shake. This is your recovery. Now, 
we are moving on to three new exercises. Up first, we are going down into a plank. And we are doing plank toe touches. So, sorry, I had a little bit of paper. Here we go. We're going to touch, touch. Now, if this is too hard for you, that's okay. Come down onto your old fours and we're just gonna touch those knees with our hands. Now, if you're doing this version, make sure your core is engaged. You're sucking that belly button to your spine. Okay, otherwise, you're with me. Or, if you want to just hold a high plank, that's fine as well. Whatever it is, just make sure that body is all engaged. Okay, up next, we are doing out, out, in, in. Okay, options here. We do the out, out, in, in. We come down to our knees. We go out, out, in, in. Or we can just hold a nice high plank here. That's fine as well. Just think about engaging that whole body. Okay, up next we're doing push back into child's pose, high plank. Okay, modifications here. We can just move the same motion on our knees. That's fine. Just make sure you're engaging your core. Everything is moving. This is a cardio workout. We want to keep that heart rate up. So make sure you're not sitting still. Okay, you get a rest after this. Woo! Okay, take a rest. Okay, awesome work guys, you're doing amazing. So just to go over those modifications again, first exercise is out, is toe touches. So we're touching your toes like this. This is the advanced version. Otherwise, we are doing hand to knee in a bridge position. And we are pushing the hand into our knee, engaging our core. Otherwise, if you just want to stay in a high plank, that's fine as well. But I want that core Strong. I want everything engaged. You are all amazing. You're doing awesome. Okay, next exercise we're doing out, out, in, in. This is the advanced version. If we, if that's too difficult, that's fine. Just come down to your knees. Out, out, in, in. Same thing. Strong arms. Strong core. You can come down to a little bit more of an angle and put a little more pressure into those arms and we'll work those shoulders a little bit more, okay? Find what is comfortable for you. Next, we're doing the push back into child's pose, high plank. Okay, modification. Same thing on our knees. Okay, after this we get some rest. And then we're gonna move on to some new exercises. Woo! Okay, stay with me. Okay. Take this rest, shake that body out. Take a little bit of recovery. Deep breaths in and out. If you need some water, grab that. And then we're gonna come back here and we've got a new set of exercises. Okay. I hope you're feeling the burn. Okay, first exercise is advanced version of burpee with a 180 jump twist. Okay, other modification is just either a burpee in and out, you can add a jump to that if you want to. Otherwise, we are just doing the walk through burpee with a reach up. Okay, so be the advanced version. Or we can do this. Or we can just walk through it. Okay, up next, we are doing squat jumps. Here we go. Okay, other options. 
flexion, just some air squats. Make sure that booty is out. You can also do one air squat, one jump, one air squat, one jump. Push yourself. We're here for five more seconds. Okay, next we're going down, down, up, up, side walk. Down, down, up, up, side walk. Okay, try your best. Push yourself. I think you can all do this. Use those legs, use that booty. Get down, nice and low, stay low. Okay, you get a rest after this. Woo. Okay, get those legs in shape. You guys are doing awesome. Woo. You should be nice and sweaty over there, because I definitely am. Okay, up first, after this recovery, again, those burpees. So, we can either be doing burpee, 180 twist, burpee with a jump and a stand, or we are walking through that burpee. Okay, most importantly, we are moving. No resting. I want you moving however you are moving. I want you moving. I want that heart rate up. Okay. Push yourself. You can do it. You're awesome. Up next, we are doing those squat jumps. Okay, get ready. Here we go. So, we're either jumping, we're doing stationary, or one stationary, one jump. Whatever feels best for you, but I want you to keep moving. Don't walk away. Stay with me. Even if you're just doing your squats, that heart rate is up. You are still moving that body. Stay with me. Okay. Down, down, up, up. Down, down, up, up. Walk. Okay. I know it burns. It's okay. Slow it down. Take those breaths in. Just keep moving. Don't stop moving. This is the final one for this round. Then we're moving on to new ones. You can do it. We are halfway through. You are awesome. Woo! Okay. Give those legs a shake. Take some deep breaths in. Grab some water if you need to. Woo! You are doing awesome. Okay, next round, we're concentrating on that core. So, we are gonna do V sit. We're gonna go out, legs out, in, and back. This is the advanced version. If you wanna make it a little easier, just take those toes down and back in. Make sure you're engaging that core. You're pulling that belly button to your spine as you go through the motion. Make sure you're still breathing. Exhale as you bring those knees to your chest. Okay, stay with me. Next, we're gonna bring those knees to our chest and we're gonna do a Russian twist. Advanced version, you're keeping those knees off the ground. If that is too hard, just tap those toes to the floor. Same thing, twist at the core. Okay, stay with me. We have one more exercise in this round. Make sure you're breathing. Okay, next exercise. We're going down on our back and we are reaching for those feet. Opposite hand, opposite foot. Okay, modification. Suck that belly button into the floor and we are just going to bring those legs to beat and then reach up. Opposite hand to opposite foot. Make sure there is no gap between you and the ground. Okay. Okay, one more round of that. You should be feeling in that core. Make sure 
you're really engaging all of those ab muscles. Very, very important. Think about that throughout all of those exercises. Okay, we are doing amazing, guys. We have one more set after this, okay? Whew, make sure you are nice and sweet. Okay, let's get ready for those B sit out, big legs in. Okay, otherwise, modification, we're doing this. Here we go. Wherever you are, make sure that core is engaged. It should be nice and tight. Exhale, as you bring those knees to our chest. Okay, up next, Russian twist. Here we go. Either feet off the ground or feet just touching the ground. And we are twisting. If you want to get a little lower, lean back a little more. That will put a little more pressure on those abs and make them work harder. Make sure you're still breathing. Here we go. Next, we're doing those Toe reaches. So we're either on flat on our back and reaching up, or we have our legs bent and we're tapping to our heels. Make sure those abs are on fire. Okay, get a rinse after this. And then we're on our final set. Okay. Stay with me one more round. That's it. So one more set of three exercises times two. And we are done. Okay. Let's push it hard on this last round. We are going to do a reverse lunge with a pull through, back, jump. Pull through, back, jump. Okay, if you're here, start with me and let's continue. If you want to modify, modify this, we are just going to walk it through. Okay, keep that body moving. Okay, next up, we're doing inch work. We are going to walk our body up to a high plank. Then you can hear if you feel like it. Or you want to challenge it up, we're doing a push up. And then we're walking back. Okay, modified version. We come down to a high plank. We drop those knees down. And we do a push up. Back up and walk it up. Okay, keep moving. Keep that body moving. Okay. Up next, we are doing <laughs> mountain climbers. Here we go. Okay. If you want to slow this down, you can do it with one, two, out. One, two, out. Okay. Stay with me. We are getting this swim on today. Sorry about that. I had to read my small little writing there. Anyways, final round. We are going to push it strong to the end. So, we have those reverse lunges for the split jump. Let's make sure we are giving it everything. Let's keep that heart rate up to the end. Let's stay strong. Here we go. Modified version. We are just going to walk through it. We're going to get nice and low. Pull that leg up. Back. In. Okay. Otherwise, add that jump. Okay. Um, next, we're doing those inchworms with a push-up. Okay, so modified version. You put those knees on the ground. Okay, here we go. Walk it out. Nice high plank. Push up here. 
or push up here. Make sure you've got nice strong arms. I know you're getting tired, but form is still important. So make sure those arms are really tight to the side and we're pushing up strong. Woo, okay. Final exercise, those are the mountain climbers. Okay, stay in that nice high plank and let's get them going. Okay, go as fast as you can. If that's too hard, I want you to hold it for two and back. Okay, just keep that core engaged. Keep those legs moving. We are almost done. Whew. Stay with me to the end. Here we go. We are almost there. Oh, oh my goodness. If you are still with me, I am so proud of you. You are amazing. I hope you're nice and sweaty in there. That was awesome. If you liked the video, give it a big thumbs up. If you're not subscribing, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Don't be scared by this workout. This was requested. <laughs> and I really thought some of us really needed to get that really hard cardio burn in. I know we've been stuck inside for a little while now. So I hope this has helped some of you guys relieve that cardio, that scared stress that we have sometimes when we don't get that workout in. But don't worry, there are beginner versions of these workouts and also a lot more on my um, channel. So just go check those out. Until next time, have a wonderful day. Make sure to do some good stretches after this. Get some fluids in. And I hope you feel amazing. See you soon. Bye.